State. Post six, Corey McPherson to drive, 22 to one. And the seven, Woodmere Gaelic with Brody McPhee at seven to one. That's your field for the upcoming sixth race. PEI Colts takes three-year-old Colts grassroots division. Good luck with your selections. The afternoon sixth race, PEI Colts Stakes, three-year-old Colts, grassroots for a purse of $5,600. Lining up behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate, let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron. Mitch, J.J. Maximus, Nolan's Magic Way. What's up, Doc? J.J. Tommy, head of state, Woodmere Gaelic, top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing, Mitch at the rail, J.J. Maximus coming also, that is a what's up, Doc, into the turn. Then fourth on the far outside is Woodmere Gaelic, racing from fifth, and moving off stride on the turn, traffic got mighty tight there, as they swing to the backstretch, J.J. Tommy went on the run. Going to the opening corner, what's up, Doc, for Darren Crow, has taken over the lead. Coming right back at him, here's Mitch and Berrio, they demand the lead, and they're going to retake off an opening quarter mile. And they were there in 28 and won a serious opener. Mitch, the leader on the turn. What's up, Doc, is second. J.J. Maxim is third. Woodmere Gaelic fourth, racing from fifth as they move down the stretch towards the half mile. That is head of state. Then in sixth, Nolan's Magic Sway trailing the field is J.J. Tommy, the inquiry. Inquiry sign is up. Race number six under an inquiry. Mitch is the midway point leader. 58 and three was the half. Woodmere Gaelic on the outside. Second racing third. What's up, Doc? Head of state. Picks up fourth. J.J. Maximus up the rail. Fifth. Nolan's Magic Sway. And in the backfield, J.J. Tommy. The three quarters coming next. Mitch will get him there by two. What's up, Doc? Is second. Now hanging on the outside. Third is Woodmere Gaelic. J.J. Maximus riding the rail. Fourth. Nolan's Magic Sway is swinging out three wide. Fifth, three quarters up in one, 28 and two. Homeward bound. Mitch will try to close it out from here. What's up, Doc? Is second. JJ Maximus third. Nolan's Magic Sway deep in the stretch now. Mitch is getting tired. JJ Maximus coming with them. Mitch will hold on for Barrio. We'll need a place picture. JJ Maximus up against. What's up, Doc? Time for the mile in one, 58 and three. Here comes the slow-mo replay for the afternoon sixth race. PEI Colts takes three-year-old Colts in the grassroots division. And Mitch, 28-1, the half 58-3, down to three quarters in one, 28-2. And, and Mitch gets the job done here today, 158-3, his third lifetime win from eight starts. Gilberio doubles up here this afternoon. And it's close on the line for second and third. You see J.J. Maximus on the outside. And what's up, Doc, along the rail there in a photo finish for place here this afternoon. But we'll see Mitch back in the winner's circle next. And we're under an inquiry here in race six. The judge's inquiry involves the conduct of race six in the first turn after the start.
Results of the six days inquiry, five J.J. Tommy made the break on his own with no violations. Well, the Maritime Magic Man has picked up a double on this PEI Colt Stakes Sunday afternoon in Summerside. Mitch takes him to the six days winner's circle. Bay Pacing Gelding 3 by Stonebridge Terror. Off the yard is Cape Dam Chocolate Art. Home by Debbie Denny, Rick McNutt, and Hollis Newson. Colt bred by Eldred Nicholson and Jimmy Gordon. George Renison trains. Jill Barrio drives for the second winner of the day. 158-3 the mile. Mitch in the PEI Colt Stakes. <laughs> 